Well, it's time to start the class, guys. Today, in order, uh, we will learn about wool. I've explained yesterday, uh, in today's classes, we will learn how to use wool for invitation and in order to make imply plants. Uh, before to continue, I would like to show you this one. This is a uh, song of the rule about wool would you like and i would like the structure to making a, a question as i mentioned it's always the same it's auxiliary bear subject and then the bear like after that you will have to use two in the very base form look at this I will like a slice of K. If you can see, in this kind of cases, use A instead of two. But in this one, I would like to go to go on vacation. If you can see, use two and then go and best form. After that, the complement and the end of period. Well, guys, uh, to continue, let me tell you also to make negative statements. You can use negative subject plus wool, then plus not. After that, plus like, plus two, base four. I know. <laughs> are a lot of plus. But let me tell you that this is one of those examples. She would not 
like an expensive bag. In Spanish, it could be something like, ella no lo quiere. But remember, it's better thinking in English. Well, after that, we have other example. You wouldn't like to make any making angry. Again, you will not like to make him angry. If you can see, auxiliary pair will in negative form, in contraction form also is wouldn't like to make base form and also the linking like and to always you have to use this in questions the structure is will plus subject plus like noun or to plus base form plus complement an example would you like to go to uh, go swimming the next week would you like to go swimming next week again okay. will subject like and to the linking between in this case will and like and go and also look at this let's go in base form well guys after that i will play a video and let me know if you listen the video just give me a second i need to fix something lesson participants would listen to a conversation where wood for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Great. So... Okay, guys, what do you think about this video? Oli Roxy, what do, you th what do you think about this video, Roxana? Hello. Uh, it's nice video. Uh, it's about a uh, soccer play. About uh, a soccer match. Mm -hmm. It's an invitation for a soccer match. If mm -hmm. you want, you can help me with being susan and i will be there are you uh, are you agree with this eh, me podrías ayudar roxana vamos a practicar vamos a practicar si gusta yo voy a hacer date y tú susan okay perfect okay. i have tickets to the soccer match on friday night would you like to go thanks i'd love to what time does it start? At eight o'clock. That's so great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Mm, oh, I eight. like to. Yeah, I like, oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, thanks, okay. 
Let's just meet at a stadium before the match around 7, 7 30. Okay. Let me let's meet at the gate. Then some time. See you there. Thank you, Roxanne. Okay, as you mentioned, and this video is about an invitation to a soccer match uh, using the auxiliary verbs, wool. Uh, the basics, yes. El mejor example, the wool, que podemos ver es ese. Would you like to go? Como estaba explicando al inicio de la clase, me gustaría mostrar la imagen que les he enviado. Esta. Si ustedes se recuerdan, aquí están las estructuras para poderlo hacer en forma positiva, negativa, en question. Uh, I just explained yesterday, the guys, um, the structure in all the questions are auxiliary bear, subject, and in this case, it's a little bit different because we have to add like, noun, or two plus bear base form. Uh, and this is an example. Would you like to go swimming next week? Another example is, would you like an apple? Si se fijan, es la misma estructura que yo mencioné ayer en todas las preguntas. Solo que en este caso sí hay algo diferente. Aparte de poner el auxiliar al inicio y el, después el subject, lo diferente que tiene es esto. Like to. Esto, esta frase la ocupamos con will para preguntar o hacer una invitación a algo. Como, ¿te gustaría ir a nadar la siguiente semana? O, ¿te gustaría ir a la manzana? Ahora, ¿qué hay sobre las positivas y las negativas? Es the same as all the sentence, but with that big difference. Subject plus will plus like plus two plus bear and base form. Sí, son bastantes plus. Pero si se fijan no son largas. Aquí está contra, eh, contraído esta parte de will. Por eso parece así. Y esto es como un tip. Eh, nunca sería buena idea contraer palabras a la hora de escribirlo. Porque es cierto, eh, según el contexto te van a entender, pero también puedes crear un malentendido en el sentido de que had y would contraídos son iguales. Si se preguntan cuál es had, es el que hablamos ayer, es el pasado de have en has. ¿Preguntas? Ok. Ahora bien, ¿qué hay de la negativa? Lo mismo, solo que vamos a agregar not. Y contraído, wouldn't. En este caso, en las negativas, no habría ningún problema en contraerlas. Porque es el auxiliar completo. Solo se contrae la palabra no. It's time to practice, guys. Eh, Aide, can you help me with this sentence? No. Perfect. Sandrita, can you help me, please? Good evening. Okay. Hi, Sandrita. Uh, can you help me with this sentence, please? I would, would like a seal of cake, please. Thank you, Sandrita. Perfect. But this word, it's a slice. Repeat after me, a slice. Slice. Mm -hmm. And what, ¿Alguien sabe qué significa slice? Es una rebanada. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a 
is that, esa rebanada. It's not a piece, como una pieza de pastel. No, it's a rebanada. Puede ocuparse también con otros nouns, as ham. Um, what else? Yes. Bread. Yes. Go ahead, Roxana. Eh, ahora en example. Yes. And next one. Can you help me, please, Jose? With this one. Pero Agular. solo es de aquí y de ahí, de aquí para acá. This part not. Please. I would like to go on vacation. Thank you. I'm very good. Next one. Um, Jennifer, can you help me with the negative sentence, please? Okay. She won't like an expensive bag. Thank you. Repeat after me. Wouldn't. <clears throat> Wouldn't. Excellent. Next one, Lorenita, can you help me, please? Lorena, can you help me, please? Good night, teacher. Good night, Lorena. You, mm -hmm. you would, would like to make him hungry. Yes, uh, Lorena, but repeat after me. You? You? Wouldn't. 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 Eh, wouldn't. Así. Wouldn't. Yes. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Es como que... Mmm, ¿Cómo podría explicar eso? Al momento de pronunciarlo, es como formar como u, uh, como una... Mmm, como algo redondo con los labios. Como hacer u. Uh, Would, wouldn't, Ooh. and then like. Okay, after that, Lorena, can you help me with this part? Angry, please. Can you repeat? Angry. Thank you. Next one. Sandrita, can you help me with the questions? Would you like an apple? Thank you. Jose, can you help me with the next question, please? Would you like to go swimming next week? Thank you. And now, I already played a video, guys, and I will play one more time. And is this one? It's about a soccer match, and I will. And after that, we will practice this conversation one more time. And let me make this one. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where "would" for invitations is used when making. No, sir, teacher. We will learn. No, sir. Ah, no, Ahorita, permítame. Y ahora? Hoy sí. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where would for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match, around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, guys. Great. So, do you want... What do you think about the video? ¿Qué piensas sobre el video, guys? 
es sobre a soccer match. And what are the teams? Frogs versus dogs. Um, here in this uh, are many examples about wool and I would love. Also, you can say I would love to in order to express positive statements. En vez de ocupar el like, podemos ocupar también el love. Pero, ¿cuál es la diferencia? ¿Alguien sabe cuál es la gran diferencia entre ocupar I would like and I would love to? Roxana, ¿sabes la diferencia? No, teacher. Es la magnitud. Es como cuando, ¿cómo podemos decirlo así? ¿Cuál es su comida favorita, Roxana? Tacos. Los tacos. Es, es una comida que usted puede comer los tres tiempos al día. Yes. Perfect. Think in that. Do love the tacos. But, ¿le gustan también la, los burritos? Yes. Y si yo le diera burritos y tacos, ¿se escogería? Tacos. Perfect. Va. En ese caso, usted ama los tanto los tacos, pero también le gustan los burritos. ¿Por qué? Porque son ricos. Es casi lo mismo, pero de forma diferente. Y la tortilla, obviamente, es de diferente harina. Pero los tacos son los tacos. En <laughs> that kind of cases, you can say, I love to eat tacos every day. But also, I would like to go to eat tacos. No, I would like to Tito. go to eat burritos this night. You can say that. This is the best example. Think of that. Okay. Ahora bien. Also, I would like to repeat this word. Yeah. Sandra, ¿sabe cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? Esta que estoy aquí redondeando. So, oh, great. So, remember, every time you have to say so. ¿Por qué menciono esto? Porque uno de los errores más comunes, incluso yo lo tuve por mucho tiempo, es que mi mente decía su. ¿Por qué decía su? Por tú. Pero no. Esta siempre se pronuncia so. Y aunque vean el do a la par, yo sé que va a costar. Es como automáticamente. So do. Pero piensen en la palabra so duco. Solo que no la terminen. So do. Ok. And right now, we will practice. And I will need help of a male. Okay, Jose. Can you be Dave? Okay. Hi there. Can you help me being Susan, please? Okay. Okay. Start when you will be ready. Okay. <clears throat> I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Will, will you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does start? At 8. Mm, that sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6 time? Oh, I, I would like to but I have to work late. Oh, that's great. Let's do, let, let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet uh, the gate. That's some fine, see you there. Excellent, I like it. Me gustó mucho. Me gustó las entonaciones que hicieron los dos al momento de hacer las preguntas. Y también me gustó el esfuerzo que han hecho. Yo sé que no, algunas veces da pena el practicar, pero los aprecio por haber hecho este esfuerzo. Right now, I would need that everybody repeat after me. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. I have tickets. 
I have, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would Friday you like? Night. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? What time does it start? What time does it start? Thank you. At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. That sounds great. That sounds great. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match. Okay, oh. That's oh. okay. Oh, okay. Let's just make that around seven thirty. Around seven thirty. Okay. Let's oh. meet at the gate. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. That sounds fine. See you there. See you there. Thank See you. Si se fijan, la conversación es sobre una invitación. ¿Cuál es la invitación principal que hace Dave? What is the invitation that is doing Dave in this conversation? Yes, Jennifer? A ver, partida. Yes. And the second invitation is about Maricela, can you help me please? Um, have dinner? Yes. Y si se fija, al usa al qué usó Susan para rechazar, perdón, qué usó Dave para rechazarla? Hi, Álvaro. Good evening. Good evening. Estamos hablando de Wood. Ya explicamos también la, la imagen que envié por la mañana. Y pues ahorita ya, ya vimos este video. Este video solo estamos hablando de invitaciones. Ok, teacher. Wood. Uh -huh. Wood. And let me verify something. Invitation de Wood. Yes. Como el pequeño recap. Solo te voy a mostrar esto. Estas son las, la misma imagen desde la mañana. Están estructuras positivas, negativas y questions. También hablamos de esto otro. ¿De qué está? De esto. La diferencia entre I would love and I would like. ¿La sabes? I would like. Eh, gustaría. Y en I would love. Mm, I would love. No. No, no. Ahí sí. La diferencia es en esto. Estábamos hablando con Roxana sobre comida. Y te haré la misma pregunta a ti. What is the food or the dish that you can eat every time? It doesn't matter. You can eat three times a day. ¿Cuál es la comida que puedes comer los tres tiempos del día? I, I, um, mm, eh, comida, 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 comida. Este, uh -huh. Es un platillo. Chicken. 
Chicken, chicken. ¿Te gusta el pollo? Pero vaya, un ejemplo, vaya. Don Pollo, ¿te gusta el Don Pollo? Mm, no, tiene que ser preparado de otra forma. Ah, vaya. Te voy a poner un ejemplo. ¿Te gustan los tacos? Sí. Pero yes. si yo te pongo el pollo y los tacos que me agarras, son tacos de res. Y te he puesto aquí el pollo como vos te gusta, preparado como vos te gusta. Calentito con dos tortillas. Bueno, este, lo que pasa es que en ese caso los tacos no los pudiera comer, digamos, los tres tiempos. Y el pollo sí. Ahora, ni te hacen madre, a eso pues quiero si llegar. Me de, si usted me de escoger entre... Sí. Ajá. Si usted me de escoger entre, una vez, entre pollo y taco. Barra los tacos. De lo más... Ah, muy bien. Vaya. Eso está un poco más difícil. Pensemos en otra cosa. ¿A usted le gusta la música? Yes. ¿Tiene un artista favorito? No. Vaya. Voy a ponerme mejor yo de ejemplo para que lo entienda, Álvaro. A mí me encanta la pizza, Uy, pero me fascina. La señal está mal nuevamente. No se preocupe, Álvaro. Vaya. Me pondré yo de ejemplo. Yo soy un hombre que me encanta la pizza. No me importa la marca, no me importa dónde sea, pero a mí me fascina la pizza. Tanto que yo puedo comer pizza los tres tiempos al día y no me voy a aburrir jamás. Porque amo la pizza. Y no voy a negar. También me gustan las hamburguesas. Pero si me dan a escoger. Voy a comer pizza. Si me ponen entre pizza y hamburguesa. Voy a comer pizza. ¿A qué viene esto? En que si a mí me dicen. Hey Luis. Would you like to go to eat. Hamburger. With me. Yes. I would like. Pero si me decís, I would like to go to eat pizza. Hey, I love it. Did you get it? ¿Lo captó? Yes. Ok. Por eso buscaba algo, algo que te gustara. El mejor ejemplo es eso. Ahora bien, ya que pusimos el día, hemos, hemos estado practicando todos, ya practicamos la mayoría de todo esto y ahorita solo estábamos viendo esto perfect, it's time to continue thank you, you're welcome Alvaro thank you teacher eh, let me ask him to everybody eh, entendieron para que sirva el wool Y cómo manejarlo. En la diferencia entre would and would like. Would like to and would like and I love to. Ah, antes. I would like to. Mm, I would like to ex, ex, make an example, but in negative. For example, I would like to. Si me dijeran, hey Luis, would you like to, to travel to, to Mexico, for example? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like. Si decimos no, I wouldn't, definitivamente no, no me gustaría. Ok, el siguiente es, by the end of the lesson, participants will comprehend of use of wooden in question and answer. 
or we'll play a new video guys. And after that, it's time to make a little quiz. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus to plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples. I would love to go to her new house but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Perfect, guys. ¿Qué opinan de este but video? ¿Qué opinan de este video, guys? Este video nos explica un poco más de cómo poder... Permítame. I'd like to. Cómo poder mm, rechazar ofertas y no sonar tan pesado. Porque qué feo sonaría si alguien dijera. Eh, I would like to go to drink a cup of coffee this afternoon. Y te dijeran, no, I don't. Además, como les explicaba ayer, si te preguntan con would, vas a responder con would. Ahora bien. Había otra cosa que quería enseñarles. ¿Alguien sabe cuál es la diferencia de Yes, I would really like to go and Yes, I would like I would love to go and I would like ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre este really like en solo cuando está solo el like y cuando está el love? Y me Sí me gustaría y el otro, pues, eh, eh, me con encantaría. El mismo, con el mismo <risas> ejemplo de la vez anterior. Ejemplo, ¿Hay Roxana. Algo más? Uh -huh. Roxana, ¿se ¿sí me puede ayudar aquí, por favor? Yes. Perfect. Bueno, a Roxana le gustan los tacos. Ella ama los tacos. Igual que yo amo la pizza. En oso, likes burritos. Pero dígame, Roxana, ¿habría alguna comida entre los burritos y los tacos? Algo que si lo pudiera comer y que si se lo pusieran entre el burrito y eso, tomaría eso en vez del burrito. The beans. Los frijoles. The beans. Yes. Ok. It's a good example. Listen, I would love to go to eat tacos this night. And I really love to eat a bowl of bean soup tonight. And I really like to eat burritos next Friday. Si te fijas, ella dice que ella amaría comer tacos. Y los ama. Pero también le encantaría ir a comer un plato de sopa de frijoles. También le gustaría ir allá. Es como me encantaría. Ahora bien, 
ya que vimos esta pequeña diferencia o este otro extra, este es bien raro que lo ocupemos, porque o lo amamos o nos gusta. Encontrar un término medio es como bien extraño. Right now, I would like to show you something. This. A estas dos frases, a mí me gusta llamarlos bridge o puentes. Normalmente, como hemos visto con el verbo to be, so, eh, la estructura solo era sujeto, auxiliary verb, plus verb, plus to, bueno, en algunos casos era subject plus verb to be, and then plus complement. En este caso no, o cuando ocupábamos el do, que era subject, auxiliary verb, and the verb base form, no. Aquí vamos a tener estos dos. Siempre que vayamos a decir que nos encantaría o nos gustaría algo, estos dos van a ir. El like y en tú van a ir juntos con will. Forever and ever. La única forma en que no va a ir tú es que ocupemos un noun. Como lo expliqué en esta, en esta imagen. Un ejemplo, el now es an apple, es una manzana. Es la única forma donde vamos a borrar el tú, cuando vamos a ocupar un now. Pero regularmente, siempre va a estar ahí. Forever and ever. Va a estar aquí. ¿Y por qué? Porque después viene el verbo. Y dos verbos no pueden ir juntos. Es un error gramatical. Jamás de los jamases. First, the, red, uh, the sky becomes red. Antes el cielo se hace rojo. Antes de que estos dos vayan juntos. ¿Por qué? Es un error gramatical. ¿Hay excepciones? Las verán adelante. Ahora bien. This one. This is a good example how to refuse politely an invitation. I, sé que suena feo cuando le dicen a uno, no, no quiero ir, o no puedo. Es mejor, me encantaría, pero tengo que hacer. Más que todo cuando está aquel intenso o intensa pidiéndote salir, pueden ocupar esto. Ejemplo. I would like to go to her new house or I would like to go to her party, but I cannot, I have to do something. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Es lo mismo, solo que podría decirlo, sí me encantaría, pero no, no puedo. ¿Quedó claro este tema? Okay, it's time to practice, guys. It's a little bit quiz. Instruction, read the following invitation and select their best response. I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? Mm -hmm. The option. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love to. Nice. Ahora bien, si pueden tener abierto la, la plataforma sería excelente. Y así avanzamos. Next one. Would you like to come over for a diner tomorrow night? I love, but I have to work late. Seguros. ¿Qué dicen los demás? 
It's night. Mm. Yes, it is. Next one. Would you like to go to a pot concert with me this weekend? Ambar, can you help me? Yes, teacher. Yes, um, I really like to go. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. This one or this one? One. The first. Thank you. Next one, would you like to go a soccer match next Saturday? Mm hmm Jose, can you help me, please? Yes, I love yes. you. Thank you. In this one, would you like to go, uh, watch a movie on Friday night? Just like, um, mm -hmm. Ruby yes. with me. I would like I to. I to, but I have to walk. Thank you. It's time to verify, guys. And this one, it's. Hey. ¿Saben por qué? No. As I mentioned before, guys, like and to every, every time we'll be together. Tú. Uh -huh. oh. Como les dije, el cielo se volvería rojo antes de que Like y tú no fueran juntos <laughs> usando wool. It's for that. It's a, it's a rule. Es como la regla que después de, antes de P y B va M. Es igual. Pero eso es en el español, creo. Lo de PIM. Teacher, ¿podría repetir la regla? Es que yo me acabo de venir a la clase, perdón. No se preocupe. Eh, Ámbar, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Sí. Déjeme ver algo, Ámbar. ¿Qué tan avanzado vamos? Sí. Bueno, señores, les explicaré nuevamente y luego de eso haremos un pequeño examen. Que espero un vídeo e ir escogiendo esto. Pero antes, fíjate, Ámbar, que estábamos aprendiendo sobre el wool para invitaciones. Ok. And this one is the picture that I sent today in the morning. En esta picture puedes ver las estructuras positivas, negativas y de pregunta de wool. ¿Para qué se ocupa wool? Es pues, eh, Realmente se ocupa para muchas cosas, pero mayormente es para invitaciones. Cómo rehusarte una invitación politamente y también cómo hacerlas. For example, en this one, would you like to go swimming the next week? Tú puedes decir, yes, I would like to go, but I have to work this weekend. O the next weekend. Esa es una forma que puedes negarte. Otra es, yes, I like it. Aparte de eso, aprendimos con tus compañeros. Permítame, no es esta. No, es esta, sí. Esto. Y voy a necesitar eh, la ayuda de, permítame. Sí, aquí. De Álvaro y Roxana. Muy bien. ¿Me pueden ayudar, Álvaro y Roxana? Yes. ¿Álvaro? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Vaya, Ámbar. Okay. Escucha esto. Necesito que tú pienses 
en lo siguiente. En comida. Y así lo vamos a hacer. Okay. Fíjate en esto. Piensa en el platillo que más te encante. El que podrías comer los tres tiempos al día. Pues en esa parte mi anillo, dije pupusas. Bueno, ya lo sabes. Es lo mismo. A Roxana ama los tacos. Yo amo la pizza. A Álvaro nunca supimos que amaba para comer, pero a él le gusta el pollo. A él really like the pollo. A Álvaro will really uh, will really like to go to eat pollo on Saturday. Pero si a mí me lo decís, mire, teacher, would you like to go to eat uh, hamburger this Saturday? Hey, yes, I like it. Sí, me gustaría. Pero le preguntas a Roxana, hey, Roxy, would you like to go to eat tacos this Saturday? What would be your answer, Roxana? ¿Cuál va a ser tu respuesta? Si yo te digo que quieres, si quieres ir a comer, would you like to go to eat tacos this Saturday? I would love to eat tacos on Saturday. ¿Ves? Esa es la gran diferencia. Ella le encanta. A mí me gusta la hamburguesa. Y a Álvaro, really like the pollo. Right now, Let me continue. In this one, in this lesson, participants will read an article about a singer. Scanning for important information will be the lab. In this one, read the article, then number this sentence from Teacher, one. Next page. Eh, no, no se mira o no sé si estamos en la misma déjeme ver ah no, perdón, lo siento aquí lo siento <ríe> que qué oso I'm so sorry guys eh, bueno aquí read the article the number the sentence from one first event to a las event. Vamos a leer el artículo y vamos a enumerar las sentences. This is the first one. She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. The second one. She is born in New York. Third one. She wins a Grammy for Beautiful. She records a song for a Disney. This is the number four. Number five. She travels around Japan. Number six. She works with Britney Spears. Number seven. She is on television for the first time. Number eight. She has her first very successful phone song. Ok, we have seven minutes. Creo que en siete minutos no terminaremos este arco, guys. Así que intentaremos comenzarlo. Lo leeremos y espero que ustedes lo, resp lo respondan durante el día de mañana. Y mañana lo vamos a discutir. Let me change this. Can you help me reading this, Amber? Puedes ayudarme leyendo este article, please. Yes, teacher. Cristina Aguilera. So far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all age around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. She is Cristina Aguilera. 
here are some highlights of Christina's life and career timeline. In, no in it's nine thousand. Nine. No, it's, oh, sorry, it's it's nineteen eighty. You can say as nineteen eighty. O lo puedes, o lo puedes decir one thousand nine hundred eighty. One thousand. One thousand. Nine hundred. Nine hundred eighty. Yes. Okay. Cristina is born on December eighty. In New York. 18. 18, sorry. Don't worry. Uh, remember, we are here to practice. Uh, in 198? No. Eh, puedes hacerlo así. Y es una forma muy tradicional en los americanos de decir 1988. Ah, está más fácil. Uh -huh. eh, eh, 19. 1988. Uh -huh. okay. Christina first appears on television is Star Search, a television talent show. 90, 90, no, 92? 1992. Uh -huh. 1992. Christina is on TV in this nice, uh, new Mickey Mouse. Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberland. Mm -hmm. Wow. In 1994, 1994, 1994, Christina records All I Wanna Do with Keisu Nakanishi, mm -hmm. a Japanese pop star. She tours. tours Japan. Uh -huh. In 90, 1998, Christina sings a song for a Disney for Disney movie Mulan. In 1998, 99, uh -huh. Christina has her first big hit. Genia. Um, Genie in a bottle. In a bottle. In a bottle. Mm -hmm. Two thousand one. Mm -hmm. Along with other singers, Christina record Lady Mar Marmalade mm -hmm. for the movie. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Mowling. Mowling Road. Road. Mm -hmm. And 2002, Christina performs at the clothing ceremony for the Winter Olympic Game in Salt Lake City, Utah. And 2004, Christina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy, Grammy Award for Beautiful. Nice. And the last part. Overall, Cristina Aguilera is thriller by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. She loved a simple love. My job. So do all Cristina fans. Thank you. Class for you, Amber. It's very difficult, teacher. I know. It's so difficult to read. But remember something. If you don't practice, you never improve. Por eso, chicos, entre más practiquemos, mejor. Yo sé que da pena. Yo sé que alguna venimos cansados del trabajo. Créanme que, que sé que se siente eso. Salir de tu trabajo y pues ir a clases. Pero... Gracias a eso podremos mejorar. Eh, again, ustedes harán por sí solos este. 
este test y como hoy pudimos descubrir muchas cosas de Cristina Aguilera that I know I didn't know it about her for example I didn't I didn't know about that she was on Mickey Mouse house with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake but we will discuss about that tomorrow see you guys see you tomorrow good night Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.